the most abused word in the current political lexicon in Tamil Nadu. I would use the word for Sanatana Dharma. Every single politician in Tamil Nadu, mostly from the DMK side, every day they will at least use the word for Sanatana Dharma a couple of times. Sanatana Dharma is going to enter Tamil Nadu, please stop. Sanatana Dharma is already here, please stop. If you catch one guy who asks you, can you explain what is the Sanatana Dharma to be? And even if you will say, no, Sanatana Dharma means uh, the upper caste trying to dominate the lower caste. Sanatana Dharma means somebody that Aryans trying to invade the regions. Nobody has got a real clue about what Sanatana Dharma is. And because this is what they were, it was thought to them over the last 70 odd years, the textbooks have made it, uh, people have given awards after awards and comments all it. And that has become like an institutional memory for three, four generations. So the book is very heavy because he has got a lot of very low duty to do because he has to break a lot of them. And uh, honestly speaking, after he has sent me the soft copy, I carried a printout of that. Everywhere I used to carry in my car or somewhere in the last 15 days, people asked me, what is the way of carrying going in such a big book? Because I printed that to read it. And uh, the way he has dissected. He has entered into it, like our friend Tejasvi Suryaji said, historical arguments, he has built counter arguments to that. And oh, very fascinating for me from the book is the comparison to science. We all know Hindutva is closer to nature. It's more a sense of evolution. Anything that is closer to nature has to obey the laws of science. Without obeying the laws of science, nobody can be closer to nature. For example, if you look at me, I am wearing, I have taken a sabri mala, so I am wearing a, a dhoti, uh, I, 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 I am on the process of undertaking a certain penance, and uh, I am going through a certain mandala. So this is Hindutva for me. I was waiting for somebody to connect all these dots and present it to the this generation of audience, the young people here, um, the way it should be presented. He has done it very accurately here, 48 days. Somebody wanna we have to follow a mantra because every 48 days we are going to self take speech and later. That is the law of science. And why do why do you want to take a penance in a certain way? There is science to it. Why do you take a coconut with you? There is a science to it. But this was in a way called a pseudoscience because we have never given the scientific angle to it, the loss of nature angle to it. So here he has done a great job of building all these arguments together. That is the biggest takeaway from the book for whatever. I've read it now, till now. And second, especially for Tamil audience, only now we are trying to put words to it, trying to put a mala to it to a larger audience to say this ideology, this philosophy is much closer to nature. That is what the biggest takeaway for me from this book.